Hi everybody, this is Shane Armin Rowe with uh, Review Lagoon, Green Robot Gamer and Shield Gamer. And uh, we're going to take a look at the Shield tablet with two Shield controllers and how to make them work properly with an emulator such as MAME. Now, we've assumed now that these uh, two controllers have already been paired uh, on the system. Okay, uh, so if you haven't done that already, you'll need to do so. Now these are both shield controllers. Your mileage may vary with other controllers. Uh, the whole point was to prove that these two controllers could work for MAME. So we went ahead and exited MAME. Both controllers are paired up and on. We're going to go into MAME and we're going to use Mario Brothers as our test. Okay, so I'm going to just move one controller. It picks up his gamepad as P1. I'm just going to move, whoops, and I got the other one to show up as uh, P2. All right, good. So now P1 will be your controlling gamepad. Now, I've already rerouted a couple of these controls already, but I'd like to show you how to do it. Again, we're going to look at Mario Brothers, a perfect two-player game that would be great to have two uh, shield controllers set up for. All right, so we're going to launch the game. And I've set up the game so that pushing in on this controller will give me a coin. And uh, I'll put a couple in there. I have this uh, analog stick pushed in to uh, start a one-player game. And I've got the second controller set up to do a two-player game. Now, as you can see, the two-player game does indeed start. You see Luigi and Mario are both online. I don't know why there's some odd sounds in that game, but outside the scope of discussion. Now I've got this controller set up to use the analog for controls and A, or I'm sorry, B to jump. And you'll notice it is not controlling Luigi, as many people have seen. Over here I'm using the D-pad to control Luigi, and I'm using A to jump. Again, you can see it's completely independent. So two controllers work on games that support multiple controllers. Uh, as I'm, I'm thinking that, that might be the buzzing of the Wi-Fi being so close. But anyway, so as you can see, I have two independent games being operated at the same time. Two independent characters being controlled. Two different controllers. It works. How do you make it happen? Easy enough. Pushing your, your coin up and your start button at the same time. This brings up an interface for MAME. Uh, you can go into this game's input, and in this case, you can see that I've got uh, player one start set up, etc., etc. The real key here is to go into player two and choose different left, right, and button controls other than joy one. All right, so you'll hit A. What would you like to be left? Left on the D-pad. All right, we'll go down A. Right on the D-pad down A, and we would like uh, B to be the jump button here as well. Excellent. So that only affects this game. You'll have to set it up for different games if you'd like. We'll now return to the game, and we'll see if indeed, yes indeed, the changes have been made, and I can play Luigi here. And Mario's out. Too late to bring him back in. Alright, well there you go. So it can definitely be done. And it does work. It just requires a little setup. I believe almost every emulator will understand multiple controller setups. Now, this doesn't change the fact that I don't believe you can use both controllers for streaming, which is unfortunate. But you can use it for emulation, and that really opens up a lot of doors, uh, especially with uh, PlayStation, with, game, with uh, uh, emulation like MAME. Fantastic. That's how you do it. I hope you enjoyed it. Visit me at shieldgamer.com. Follow me on Google+. Uh, we're pretty much everywhere. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.